Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 3 Ruined World. This will be part 73 of our Let's Play. In the last episode we arrived here at the Keep of Rentar Eono, and we entered this main chamber where Rentar Eono is, and kind of got our best ally killed and the greatest, uh, greatest magician of Avernum killed, so... Uh, we, we also didn't win that battle, like, by, by a long shot, so... There's obviously something we're supposed to know as we're wandering around because we have to like play with the panel and do something and we just haven't been able to do that. Oh, interesting. Press a button, there is a soft click, nothing else happens. Okay, so yeah, we're going to explore the keep a bit. Probably head down because it seems like, you know, the breeding pits and stuff are all, are all towards the bottom. So that seems like a good place to go and find out what the hell's going on. Also, were there potions on that table? There certainly were. I guess we could have give everyone like one or two invulnerability potions. We can just smash it. Uh, everything in here is a bit dusty. What we did discover though is that Renta, you know, like heals herself kind of permanently. Like she she seems to just heal all damage you do that turn. So you would have to. Um, do enough damage to kill her in one go, basically, which which is pretty tough. Also, right, I have it on the quick bar. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Also, we drank from that and absolutely got poisoned, so that's a thing. Um, doesn't really, you know, like, bother us that much. But even so. Okay, well. Seems like we're going to get pretty geared up. Well, geared up with crap, but still geared up. Oop. Oh, that's no, a piercing crystal. Thought it was a wisdom crystal. I got excited early. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I, I got a little bit... A little bit preemptive of my excitement. Okay. So we don't want to go into the main room, so we'll just keep looking around. This keep's got to have heaps of good stuff in it, and so far it has not disappointed. And there must be a reason to have this much of the keep, right? Like, uh... It, it, the game doesn't waste a whole lot of stuff. Uh, this room contains the starved bodies of two humans, both wearing rusted Empire armor. The Vanatai threw them in here and left them to starve. A grisly reminder of the fate that almost befell you. Yeah, so... Like, the, the game doesn't tend to waste areas. Like, it doesn't tend to have big areas for nothing. There's usually little bits of loot scattered around, or it's got some story reason, or there's, like, secret compartments or whatever. So, if it's got this big of an area, it must be for something. Uh, room of reading. Ah, you find a Vanatai reading crystal. Deep inside you can see the, you can dimly see glowing magical writing. You peer into the crystal trying to make sense of the schematics and plans moving by. They move too fast and are too confusing. You just don't understand enough of Vanatai culture and language to make sense of them. Ugh, that's kind of unfortunate. Right, because that's a thing we can get, right? It's like a special item, Vanatai lore, yeah. I'm wondering if there's spots we could get more of that. I mean, obviously there is, because these things specifically are sort of targeting that. Mmm, okay. Maybe we should have been asking more questions and, and going around to more places. I'm guessing our Vanatai lore is like what gives us the 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 power to read stuff too, which is why we get like, oh, you don't quite know what this says, but it said like you managed to make out blank. I'm, I'm guessing that's related to my lore. Okay, I was sort of hoping I might kill that guy with that barrage, but I'll probably get him with the bows. I'm not going to bother, like, casting buffs and stuff. I think we'll be pretty okay. Yeah. Um, jeweled golems suck, but... Look, it's just the one. We're, we're mostly beyond the point where that is a concern. Like, where one golem is a worry. In fact, golems in general, let's be real. They're, they're kind of shit tier at this point. Yeah, no, he's immediately dead. And then you should die. Excellent. 
Okay, so we got more like gems and stuff. We, we have so much stuff here. The question's gonna be though, right? Um, is it worth? Because I know this game has like a soft time limit. Um, is it worth going back? Because we could probably, you know, we can go look around the area that we didn't really explore. Um, but obviously it's not quite, like, it's, sorry, it's going to waste our time. But I don't know what that cap on the time is. Like, I don't know what our, what our time limit is. So, I, personally, I think we've sort of rushed through it for the most part. Um, but that could be wrong. Oh, hello. Demon Golem. Right. Guess we better make a bit of... Oh, whoops, I've still got the things on. Yeah, maybe we ought to make a bit of... Make a bit of ground. And get up to that Demon Golem. I don't really want him just pinging away at us a lot. Yeah, because he hurts us a bit. Okay. Can I wrangle into here? Yes, I can. Goodbye, Demon Golem. Vanatai Warrior, you can get a stabbing. Extra stabbing. Boop. Okay, the, the close range super throw. Sure. Honestly, that Basilisk is more of a threat than the Vanatai Warrior. Like, Basilisks, they can stun me and daze me and stuff. That's kind of shit. What can you do? Like, what can the Vanatai Warrior do? The answer is really not much. Taking a bit of a pounding, though. Like, more than I expect. Oh, there's a Shaper in there. Okay, and you just immediately woke him up. Well, that was a... That was a poor decision. Not... not your... Not your best move. Okay, so yeah, like, I, I feel that we've powered through the game. We've definitely skipped, like, entire sections, because in terms of the map, uh, which, yeah. So we still haven't got, we still haven't even got the map for this region, um, which means nothing, because we've basically explored it. But we haven't really stuffed around here, like in this sort of middling area here much. Um, Malok, Bangara, we kind of, like, just barely scraped them. We definitely didn't do much in Dawngas. Um, so I feel like we've probably missed a bunch of stuff there. And it, we have completed the game a lot quicker, though. So, like, I don't know if the time we've gained skipping areas is enough to go back and wander aimlessly, looking for potential um, Thanatai lore, because we don't even know really where to get it. And maybe it's too late. Um, you know, maybe we can't get Vanatai lore because the Vanatai are now, like, revealed to be evil. So, like, you know, you would expect to get Vanatai lore from talking to the Vanatai. But now that they're all evil, like, maybe that's just something that can't happen. Uh, this room contains two stone platforms. Crystal souls are generally kept here in order to provide guidance to living Vanatai. However, the souls have been removed, probably in order to keep them from you. It's a bit rude. Don't have anything against the crystal souls. It's not like I went and smashed them or anything. I didn't do nothing. Didn't do okay, that is leading towards the main area. I'm going to save it. Okay, no, it doesn't. Ooh, that one probably does, though. Like, I'm guessing this door... Oh, no. It's just some crocolisks in here. Okay, oh, so it is... The only way to get there is that main chamber. You can't just, like, sneak in the back somewhere. So you have to pretty much, like, 1v1 it. You have to just rush forward and kill. Okay, that's, that's good to know, though. Uh, cool, we got hasted. Because, uh, yeah, I'll bet you if we had more Vanatai lore, I could, like, decipher how the machine works and, like, what the buttons mean, and then it would tell me. Um, yeah, rent our Eno's chambers. Let's go in our chambers. Maybe there's something in here. The case contains a velvet pad. There is a sword resting on it. It is old and tarnished and shows the signs of having been shattered and reforged at least once. You aren't sure what this weapon is, but you can sense that it is a blade of uncommon power. It is clearly of human make. 
Demon Slayer. <gasps> oh, Demon Slayer, that's cool. Um, Demon Slayer is absolutely something you get in the first game. Uh, it's like the most powerful sword in the game. I don't know if it is the same here. Um, 50% damage to reptiles, 87 to 348. That is quite a bit. It's not actually as much as my current warp metal blade. But it is a sword. Basic attack. Sword, yeah. So it can actually take up the jewelless rapier instead. Uh, but it's actually worse than that as well. Except for like fire, energy, and cold resistance. That's kind of crazy. Um, so we might actually equip it. Too heavy to be used my offhand. But it's a basic attack sword. It's not a broadsword. Um, is it worth replacing that? Look, I'm gonna... It's probably not the right call. Um, but I'm gonna do it just because. Uh, just because I think Demon Slayer is really cool. I, I love Demon Slayer. So we'll use that. Uh, you've got a fine steel wave blade. We might as well just chuck that at you, I guess. See now, if um, if Jesh Osh was a like a sword fighter rather than a polearm fighter, that would be excellent at this point. And I think that's like once again, I think that's one of those things. This is this goes back to the uh, throwing versus bows bait debate last week. I think polearms are really good as a support weapon, but in terms of like main weapons, your main attacks will always be. Uh, swords, like you, you wouldn't want two characters with pole arms because there's not that many good pole arms. However, in terms of good swords, like some of the most powerful weapons in the game are swords. Like frequently, most of the most powerful weapons are swords. So, I usually end up having a pole arm guy, but I, I, get, I get to the end of the game and then always kind of regret it. Wow, there's a lot of Rakshasa down here. What are they? They're like Naughty Nephilim? Naughty Nephils? Something like that? Like they're just, they're, they're bad ones? Is, is what I mean by that, I think. I think that's what they are. Ugh, of course you would kill in one. That's so irritating. You can't even reach, okay. I mean, they may be bad Nephils, but they're clearly still not very good. Although, they all have magic and they could all summon. They don't seem to be down with that game. They don't seem to be down with the summon game, but I guess they'll do it. We're gonna, I'm going to throw up some protection, because I'm sick of all these spells hitting. Um, and we'll throw out uh, an Icy Rain to try and do a bit of area control. Yeah, that's heaps better. Come on, someone shoot. Yep, that'll do. Oh, it didn't even hit me. Oh my god, someone... Yeah, they, None of them hit the Aussie nerd, so he didn't, uh, he didn't wake up. Which is silly, like, it's, he's too good at dodging for his own good. He can't even wake up when he's dazed, and he should have like a 90% chance to be hit there. And he still couldn't get hit. There we go. Right, so we just kill that. We go over here and kill... Ah, oh, you can't move. Alright, well, throw that, I guess. Okay, I mean, look, we're getting through them. This is just super busy work. They're, they're no real threat. They don't have enough badges to, to control me. Here, take that. <laughs> Eat that. Kia! And you can just chill. Okay, hasted himself, sure. Uh, dead though. You can, you can you can haste as much as you want. That's really not going to save you. Okay, we'll just toss a bunch of this stuff in the cell box. Okay, so we got a bunch of levers. So let's just play with some levels. You hear grinding stone? Sure. I'm turning off lasers. Okay, I'm rotating things. Right, 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 right. 
Okay, let's go with crystals here, which we'll add to our pile. So I'm guessing I have to go down each of those ladders and, like, break the thing, I guess. It's like, what if I do that? I, I definitely shot it, like, down that way. Is there something here that I can, like, see? Actually, does it go down here? No, so there's something else over here. Oh, no, hang on, that one's pointing the wrong way. Duh. Never mind. So if I just point this the other way... Okay, I don't... I don't know what that one actually points to. So if I flip this one... Ah, that flips him. Right. Okay. So now that goes that way... I probably have to flip this one back. It probably controls one here. Yeah, that would be my assumption. So let's just flip this boy. Yep, and now we can see the lasers go all the way through. Cool. Alright, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's a thing. It's like, I did, a, I did something. Um, I'm guessing I'm just going to, like, overload his machine. So I'm guessing, like, what happens is, at the moment, it's off, or whatever. Like, I turn it off... And then I, like, supercharge it so that it gets, like, gets fully ruined. Or, like, it gets way too much energy. Then I switch it on and it explodes. Something like that. That's that's going to be the the assumption I'm running on. Ugh, Afrit. You guys are just going to hurt me every time I get close to you. Oh, I hate this. That's so annoying. Okay, well, you guys need to cool off, then. Deep Stalkers, uh, I don't recall being really scary. They look terrifying. Okay, well, if you guys are going to keep summoning, summoning demons and shit, that's really not on. That is, unfortunately, something I can't really get behind. Uh, no, not pre-spell. Bloody ice, icy, icy field. Sure. Ugh, yeah. Okay, I don't care if they attack the front too. It's if they attack the back too. That's the problem. Okay, you need to go. You super need to go. Uh, you need to heal literally everyone. And you can probably just kill that demon. Uh, I should just shoot him. Just shoot him. Don't worry about spells. And then we're just down to the deep stalker, and he is a giant pussy. He's, a, he's like a, a real, real giant pussy, but he's still just a serious pussy. He's not doing anything. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm gonna just keep getting, keep getting burns for a bit. That's okay. Yes, I kind of figured. Like, all of those boxes at this point seem to just... All those, uh, like, urns seem to just contain just crap. Like, they just contain herbs, which we can't really use. So, on one hand, like, thanks. On the other hand, thanks? Magical notes? Sure. We have 51 of those. We never found the guy that wants those at, at the home base. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> been collecting these all game. Okay, alright, what do we got? It goes this way, we'll flip that one. Um, is that done? Yep, actually that's done. I only had to press two levers. Okay, so this one probably goes the other side, since there's only three staircases. A rank smell makes your eyes water. You look down into a deep trough stained by foul acidic slime. The trough leads from a huge tank to the north, to the pit at the centre of the fort. This... Trough channels the raw material of monsters into the inner workings of the fortress. Okay, so I can't actually get across to there. So there is there's the gate there, but we don't really know how to get through it. Energy pool flood thing. Also, that was a guy that I just saw there. Come here, you little bastard. You don't get to live. You don't get to live. 
Okay, do I like... Shut down when you invade the fort, right. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of doors here. Sure. I mean, look, we just pull every lever, right? Oh, that's a mysterious hidden compartment just there. That's lava. That's nothing. Aha, we opened this. We opened this gate. Which means... Oh, God. Oh, alien slime. Wasn't that like the boss of the aliens? I think it was, right? Man, I, I have not fought one of those for forever. Slimes were the first plague. Was it the first boss? No, it was like a mother slime. But these were... I think these were in the, like, slime dungeon, right? God, I don't remember. It's like... It makes sense now. Like, that's an alien beast, like, crossed with a slime. I don't really see how it's that slimy, but... Whatever. I, I'm sure enemies are hard to name, alright? I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's perfectly legit. There we go. Still... They're a they're tier 1 enemy, and they die like a tier 1 enemy. What's in here? Speed burst, and more magical notes. They're giving us a lot of, like, random crap. Like, I, I'm assuming the game is basically done after this, but they're giving us so much stuff that... It, it seems to imply that even once we're done here, you know, we've still got a ton of magical notes. Like, surely once we kill the Vanatai, we've, we've won, right? We, we don't have to go and hand those quests in. Like, too late for that. You've completed the game. Like, you know, roll credits, the end. You know, dust your palms, you're done. Type deal. But, uh, yeah, weird that they're still giving us that crap. Still giving us that useless crap. Not useless for a quest. Okay, this one's only got two levels, and we just need to flippy flip this one. Boop. And that's all plugged in. And then we have one more to go. Because this is just going to lead to another... Yeah, like another thing. Right, so we go up again, and we need to go to the top left. Oh, hang on. I saw a little gem boy there. We don't want to leave him behind. We're going we're gonna to need all that money once we've saved the entire world. Well, okay, surface world. Save the surface world. Let's let's be a bit more, uh, or a bit less melodramatic. Oh, that guy. Fair enough. Let's go get him. Hello. Do you come here often? Well, you probably won't anymore. Yeah. We all good. We killed all the like weird guards. Uh, so where's the other stairs down? It must be there. It must be these ones. Do 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 do. Ruining Vanity plans. Okay, now we just have like the weird zombie zombie Vanity. Uh, we'll probably want to haste on this one, just because liches are kind of tough. I don't really want to deal with that. Okay. Um, can I get to here? Yeah, I can. Alright. Start killing. Just get to the killing. Uh, you can't actually get through there, so I'm going to save his, his haste. I might do Divine Retribution. It's got to hit him, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know how far away that goes, but... That's only four squares. Most most targeted spells hit four squares. Let alone things that target yourself. Okay, my guys are hasted and slowed. Oh, actually no, they're not hasted anymore. Rude. Okay, so that actually like fully counteracted. Oh no, it didn't. It just slowed. Never mind. Never mind. Um, right, drone rush. Just put the herd on him. There we go. And a quick ghast, who... He gets like two attacks or something. Yeah, he, he, he dies like a chomp, though. 
He did, what was that, like 5 damage, 15 damage before he died? I, I didn't even look. That's that's how little I care about him. I just didn't even look at how much damage he did. I was like, can he kill me? Nah, not even worth thinking about. Not even worth thinking about. Okay. So, I'm going to switch, switch this on. Put a little switcheroo in here. Boop. And... Click this one. Boop. And there we go. The crystals in the middle are like supercharged. Don't know if that is a good thing for us or a bad thing for us, but I guess we'll see. Because... Oh. Where did you come from? Well. Gone now. Okay, I think we've searched pretty much everything we can search here. So all that's left is to to go through here. So because I've seen all this before, I'm just going to like rush through it. Um, you cause monster plagues. If I don't like your plan. I'll have to leave here. Hmm, fair enough. Uh, yeah, so I can actually just like straight up run over here. Uh, except I can't make it now. Rent our construct, interesting. Do we have these before? I don't think so. There, there's more enemies here, right, than last time? I swear there is. I thought last time we just, like, pretty much walked straight up to a first turn. Maybe because we, like, dawdled. Or, like, maybe once you activate those and you're actually ready to win. You know, it, it messes with it. Oh, wait, Eric is actually here now. Okay, I'm very confused about what we did the first time. What? I didn't notice Erica before. Okay, just shanked Erica in the back. Sure. Does this mean she's not going to, like, super die this time? Maybe all that stuff we broke was, like, giving Renta, you know, her power. Like, her unlimited power. That would make more sense. Um, yeah, guys, can we just throw up a War Blessing? And... And throw up a Haste. Oh, sorry, that's that's the days. Alright, I did it anyway. It's weird that you have to press Escape to stop it, but whatever. <laughs> really? Oh no, that's not what you want to see. Maybe I should have read things. Whoops. Oh well, doesn't doesn't matter. We're, we're gonna win this battle now, surely. Like, well, we can kill everyone, and then we've got Erica left. That that sounds like a win. Although Erica's kind of getting she's kind of getting stabbed a bit. I'm not saying Erica's not, not gonna handle this, but she's kinda getting pretty stabbed. She's getting real stabbed. Okay. You're gonna Oh you're stunned. Excellent. Eat eat shit some. Um I want to unshackle mind. You should haste. That's days again. One day I'll remember. Haste is that one. Also, the frame rate's like super choppy at the moment because there's about a million things going on. I do apologize for that. Um, I will say, the uh, much as I love this game, for whatever reason, for my particular hardware, it doesn't seem terribly optimized. Which, uh, which is kind of weird. Kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. It's sort of the type of game where you don't need a super high frame rate. Like, you don't want to play it as a slideshow, but... Um... It's like a, um... In, in my opinion, sort of anything that's turn-based, you don't need a massively high frame rate. Obviously, with like an FPS or anything like that, frame rate is everything. Because frame rate equals reaction speed. So, more is better. Like, you, more, 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 uh... More Watsy is more good. More frame rate is more good. But for something like this, where I just have to sit there and think about my moves, uh, not that big of a deal. Okay, well, we'll just heal everyone. Can't actually get Erica from here. 
Um, all right, the Hawkeye summoned a fiery demon. Yeah, so this is definitely one of those things where obviously we've changed something by fucking around with all those switches and powering up the middle thing because otherwise, you know, th this battle is definitely different than what we did initially. Ooh, okay. The the gazer or well, the eye beast heals. Actually, if they could just all like bully Erica, I'd be okay with that. If they just leave me alone to just like go forward and stab everything. That'd be cool. Like, yeah, just keep doing that. Just, just keep stabbing her. I love that she's actually here this time, rather than just being a thing where it's like, oh, she gets held, and then suddenly she gets uh, wrecked by the sun, where she turns to ash or whatever it is. It's pretty funny. Oh my god, they have so many people. So many boys. Okay. I Beast, you need to, like... Really, you just have to go. That guy's gotta go. Um, I'll just throw, like, a thing at you. Right, heal everyone. And then, I guess, do some kind of magic on the eye beast. Maybe, like, divine fire. That seems fun. Sure. That, that did work. Okay, you summon a big boy, I think. Yep. A Hortan. Sure. I like... Okay. Um, and then you do an Arcane Blow. Just... Boom. Wow, that killed my frame rate. <laughs> that was awful. I'm not going to do that again. That... Uh... Oh god, do not... Do not charm Erica, please. That's just... Awful. I'll be honest, Erica is not, like, aside from being practically unkillable, she's really not putting up that impressive of a showing. She has, like, one crappy spell that I do more damage than, and then she just takes an absolute pounding from every direction. The greatest wizard of Avernum. Just, just getting really bullied by everyone. Okay, can we all not have, like, charm boys? God, I'm sick of charm boys. Okay, you can go. You can go. And then you can just stop summoning charm boys. My god. Do I go after the Hakai? Yeah, I think I do. Now, I don't remember... I think it's... I think Demon Slayer is a bit of a misnomer. I don't believe that Demon Slayer actually gives you any bonus against demons. It's actually kind of more of a Dragon Slayer. I mean, if the stats are anything to go by, it's more of a Dragon Slayer. I don't know if there's some sort of, like, hidden effect, um, but I don't remember it doing anything specific to demons. I think in the first one you, like, needed it to uh, even stand a chance against the demons. I think it was like, you know, it was like a scripted thing. It's like, if you didn't have it, they... It was a bit like the the last battle for this one, like, where, because I hadn't done the things, it just gave me an impossible, an impossible combat. I think it was kind of similar to that. Okay, well, we'll just keep slowing them down. Oh, we'll see what happens if I just kill everyone except Renta Eno, and then we'll see if, like, if I start beating her up, whether she, you know, heals everything again. Because maybe with... Maybe with uh, Erica here, we can actually do something. Actually, maybe Erica was here last time, but because I touched the pedestal and didn't, like, win, maybe that triggered triggered her to, to die? I don't know. I just don't know. Huh. Yeah, no, it'd be interesting to try and recreate the circumstances there. At this stage, I'm going to assume I'm good because I completed the, you know, completed the little mini game and did the little thing. I'll do one, and then we'll throw out another haste. Should get. Oh, got everybody. Okay, because I could probably, if she is going to heal up her turn. Um. Uh, 
Yeah, so if she is gonna heal, I reckon I, I just wait until I have like adrenaline rush on both my people, and I could probably you know, we can really test to see just how much damage she can block. Because, like, I reckon I can nearly kill her. That was just four attacks there. And we, as far as I'm concerned, we nearly got her. So if I just, like, make sure to keep haste up, which I didn't really need to do because we got that last time. If I do that, and then maybe we just, like, I don't know. We'll do something slow, I guess. I guess would be okay. And then we'll, um, see where we go from there. Because we're doing pretty good. We're, we're getting, like, okay. She, oh, she didn't heal completely. She didn't heal completely. So that is, that's progress. I think we can take her. I think we can fully, fully kill her. There we go. Adrenaline rush, boom. Yeah, oh, man. Because our adrenaline rush, that is just the damage dealer. Yeah, no, we, we're fine. We're gonna kill her. If we even can. Ooh. No, I don't think we can. Uh, because that probably should have killed her. That, that probably should have killed her. I'm not gonna call it just yet. But she's on pretty low health, and I think I just did like 200 damage to her. Yeah, okay. So she can't, she can't die. Yeah, no, she, she should fully be dead right now. Okay. Doesn't actually heal that much. Like, actually kind of heals a disappointingly low amount. Okay. I uh, can't quick save during combat. So let's just do this. Yeah, okay, so this is where Erica dies, right. Um, right. Emergency... Uh, no. Refocus beams. Okay, nothing happens. Emergency beam cease. Square one. Right, refocus the beams. Begin process. Okay, so I have to load slime compounds. I have to refocus the beams. Powerful humming. The power systems of the foundry below double, then triple up in intensity. The controls go very hot. Begin process. Did I... Did I mess this up again? If I just emergency beam cease. I think I messed this up again. I'm willing to bet I just need to... I need to know, like, what... Like, I need to have the Vanatai lore. We'll see. I'll look at the console again, because there's some stuff on the right-hand side, I think, that I've kind of ignored. Yeah, see, Galak A, Galak R, Galak K, Galak C. Thelon Intensity Brown. See, I'm willing to bet, right, that this means something. That I probably can't read it because I don't have the Vanatai Law required. Thalen Intense Galak K. A to H, R to H, K to H, K C to H? Or it's Galak C is H status. Brown? I don't really know, but obviously there's something I'm missing here. What's back here? What's what's behind the curtain? What's behind the curtain? Yeah, I don't want to like admit defeat on this one just yet, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check out what uh, what this says. Maybe it gives some hints, and then I can reload. Uh, emergency curse removal. Okay, sure. We'll just we'll just drink that. Just drink that. Sure. Looks good. Okay, so she seems to heal on the pedestal, something like that. Can we move her off the pedestal, maybe? Is that a thing? Does that do something? Um... Because I have like that knockback thing, right? Leg is it leg sweep? Mighty blow? Yeah, it's mighty blow that does it. So let's just 
Ah, it didn't actually move. Okay. Alright, well, I don't have much of an idea now. Just golden goblet. There's nothing really here that seems to hint at what to do. I'm, I'm definitely missing something. And I'm, I'm thinking it's Vanatai lore, and I have to go back and find where I would get that. So we'll just reload. Just reload. So yeah, it was absolutely what I thought. So like, Erica did spawn last time, but because I touched the console immediately, like, she, she instantly died, and I didn't really notice her there. Uh, because the enemy didn't have a turn. So, with that in mind, we'll leave this episode here, and I'll give it some thought. Or if you guys want to wanna give give a hint, if you know. Um, or, uh, where to get more Vanatai lore. So either, um, like, a hint on how to proceed would be, like, low tier. Like, I don't really want you guys to just tell me how to win. Um, but where would I get more Vanatai lore, if possible, at this stage, is, is the important question. So if any of you guys know... Um, Make sure to let me know in the comments down below. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or talk about what I just said before, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.